Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you are probably watching this video on your smartphone, right? And if you are doing that, then this video is for you and for everyone else who cannot live without their smartphones. So in the present time, we cannot think of our lives without a smartphone, right? Like we wake up in the morning because the alarm clock in our phone is ringing. Then we keep using the phone throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, we go to sleep after watching Netflix in our phone. So that's how important a phone is in our lives. So in this video, I'm going to talk about 10 apps that you can download in your phone and use them to make your days super successful and super productive. And when I say super successful, I don't mean all these apps will only help you in your work life, but a lot of them will also help you to relax and pursue a lot of different hobbies. So yeah, I'm very excited to share this entire list with you guys. And also I personally use an Android phone. So I use this OnePlus uh, 6D and it's an Android phone. So all the apps that I will be mentioning in this video are available in the Google Play store i will give the links in the description box down below i am not sure if all of them are available in the ios but i will try to find alternatives and i will also give the links in the description box so yeah that's all that i wanted to say as an introduction for this video now let's get started with the apps now to have a super productive day you need to wake up in the morning right so my day begins with this very annoying yet effective alarm clock app called alarmy it only stops when i get up and solve two math problems so to use the app, I have to first select the time when I want the alarm to ring and after that I have to select an activity. It can be anything. It can be solving a puzzle or solving a math problem or scanning a barcode or taking a picture, anything that you do with your active mind. And then I select like two math problems because I think that's enough for the morning. I select a loud uh, ringtone and yeah, I'm all set for using this app in the morning. So as soon as I hit the dismiss button when the alarm goes off, the math problems appear on the screen and I select intermediate kind of math problems because very tough math problems in the morning can get a little overwhelming and yeah I solve them back to back and then the alarm stops and after this I do not feel like going back to sleep so I wear my glasses, smile at myself and yeah I am ready to face the day. Now the next app that I am going to talk about is something that you probably already have in your phone and it's the Google Calendar app. So the Google Calendar app can help you to make the perfect digital to-do list. So this is how the monthly overview of the app looks like but I love to keep it in the weekly mode because it allows me to see all the activities that I'm doing in a day and also gives me an idea of all the activities that I have planned for the week. While updating this app, I follow a two-step system. So once every week, when I'm making the weekly to-do list in the weekend, I update this app and I add all the activities that I want to do repeatedly throughout the week. And then for the activities that I want to do in a specific day, I update that every day in the morning. And also using this app is very convenient because I do not have to carry my manual to-do list. I can just carry my phone and I will have my entire day's plan with me and also if I want to go back and see a few things that I did in the last week or I want to see all the activities that I did in the last week I can just take a look uh, in this calendar and it's done so yeah it's very convenient to use now if you are a very basic person you don't want a very complicated to-do list you don't want to time block you just want a very simple to-do list then the next app can be very suitable for you it's called Todoist and in this app you can just enter the tasks very simply it's just like your note option in the phone you add all the tasks that you want to do and for each of the tasks you can add some subtask if you have to so if I have to edit a video when I'm away from home I will add that as a task and for the subtasks I add rendering and then color correction and then voiceover and then stabilizing and all those different things and once it's done I just click on the task and it's gone it's not at all complicated and it's very easy so if you are a minimal person this is a perfect option for you now the next step that I'm going to talk about can really simplify your work life and make it very structured this app is called Trello so Trello allows you to create separate boards 
for each of the projects that you are working on now let me simplify this with an example with one of my personal examples for me one of my boards is called blogs and under the blogs board i have a lot of different lists the first list is ideas and this is where i do my brain dumping so whenever i think of a topic i make that into a card and insert that in this ideas list now if i am writing about a certain topic i remove that card from the ideas list and enter that to the writing list and then i move that to adding picture and editing and then i move that to the seo and then finally it's up in the blog so yeah it's a really cool and helpful app i know it sounds a little complicated and you will probably take a little time to understand how it works but once you do that it's very simple it's very structured and it can actually simplify your work life it can categorize all your activities and help you to manage them better and one thing that i really love is that it can be synced between your laptop and your phone so when you are not opening your laptop you can update it using your phone and then when you are working on your laptop it's already updated over there which i think is very very convenient for me so yeah this is one app that i use every day and you should do it's really going to help you a lot now the next app that I'm I'm going to talk about is called toggle and it's for anyone who is having a very hard time to manage his or her time this app works like a stop clock that also keeps the record so to use the app make sure that you are adding the activities that you want to track and when you start doing that activity turn on the clock and once the activity is completed turn off the clock this will keep the record of all these activities over the weeks so that you can see where and how you spent your time so if you are feeling drained by the end of the day you think you do not have any time for yourself and you are working throughout the day it's high time that you understand where you are spending all your time and for that this app can really really help you even if you do not use this every day make sure that you are using it for a few weeks to know where all your time is going so yeah for that this app can be super helpful now we have discussed enough about this work related apps let's take a break now let's move on to something different let's talk about something different um let's talk about habit building building a good habit is amazing but it takes up a lot of time and effort and there will be days when you will feel super lazy there will be days when you are so occupied with something else that you won't get any time and there will be days when you are totally forgetting about it now building a good habit needs consistency and with that a habit tracker can really really help you now the habit tracker that i am going to talk about is called habitify now in this app enter the habits that you want to keep a track of and when you are done with them for the day make sure that you are ticking them off so that the continuous streak is maintained now talking about habits i have recently developed the habit of listening to audiobooks because even though i love reading physical books at times it's not possible to buy all the physical books because at times they're not available at times they're very pricey and most of the time they end up cluttering the home which is not desirable at all so for listening to audiobooks my preferred app is audible for this app i pay a monthly subscription fees of 200 rupees which i think is very affordable Listening to audiobooks is super easy and convenient. I can do that whenever I want to. Recently, I have developed the habit of taking notes of all the non-fictions that I am reading, and I find it way easier when I am listening to the book and taking the notes because I concentrate better in that manner. And I also love listening to the audiobooks when I am doing some household chores, and this way the work seems to be a little less boring. Along with listening to audiobooks, I have also developed the habit of listening to podcasts. And for listening to podcasts, my favorite app is Spotify. Now, when I say podcasts, I don't really mean in the very serious ones i mean obviously there are the serious educational podcasts but in spotify you will find a lot more like there are so many varieties in spotify so along with the educational podcasts spotify also offers a lot of different podcasts on music games arts and entertainment comedy kids whatever your interest is in you will find a podcast on that topic I personally prefer going through the educational podcast the podcast that are related to lifestyle and also my recent favorite are the crime related podcast they're very interesting and very thrilling and I enjoy listening to a podcast with a glass of cold coffee in the evening or when I am exercising If you are someone who is interested in learning a new language and you are not getting enough time to enroll yourself in an online or offline course 
then you can try a language app instead i love using duolingo for this using this app is very convenient i can use it whenever i want to like for 10 to 15 minutes every day and that's fine if you are regular 10 to 15 minutes every day will be enough the only problem with this app is that it is not like for the very basic beginners so if you do not know the alphabets if you do not know the numbers or if you do not have any basic knowledge of a language then this app won't be the best option for you but if you know the basics and you just want to practice more improve your skills then this app is surely going to help you now the last app that i'm going to talk about is a very relaxing app and it's called cam so if you want to unwind and distress after a long day or at the end of a very hectic week this is the perfect app for you so it provides all the soothing sounds that you need to sleep to meditate or even to unwind i am using this app for the last 6 to 7 months and it has been an amazing experience so i use the guided meditation option and i use that to meditate either in the morning or in the evening but for me the favorite way of using this app is by playing a very natural soothing sound then i light a fragrant candle i turn off the lights of the room and that's a perfect mood for me to unwind after a very tiring day before ending the video i want to mention two things because without that this video will be very incomplete number one you do not need all these apps in your life if you are using all the 10 apps it's fine if you are using five or one that's also fine if you are using none of these apps that's perfectly fine these apps do not define how successful or productive you are they can help you to become successful or productive but you can do great even without that so if you are not using any of these apps and you don't want to use any of these apps that's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong in it to do not feel compelled to use these apps every single day i know when you have some productivity app in your phone you kind of feel the urge of using them every day and when you fail to do that you feel like a failure you feel a little demotivated but it's completely fine you have a lot of things to do so if you are not being able to use one of these apps on a certain day it's okay so if you want to take a break for a few days or for a few months from an app it's fine do not let that demotivate you or make you feel any inferior so that's all for today's video if you have liked the video give it a big thumbs up in the comment section below let me know which are the apps that you are going to try If you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do I post twice every week and I would love to stay connected with you I will come back with a new video super soon till then take care and bye bye